Hey YouTube, Rails15 here, bring you another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video, well, kind of. Without actually hopping into Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, I'm just basically going to be talking about something that Brad covered in his own video. Link in the description below, go check it out, he's a great content creator. But anyway, what I want to talk about in this video is how will Pendulum Monsters work in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links? Because a few updates ago back, Konami actually added some code that will actually support Pendulum Monsters and Duel Links. And I was just kind of thinking about lately how will panel monsters work. And for people who only play Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links, haven't played any other Yu Gi Oh! games, or haven't played the TCG in a long time or in a while, basically, how panel monsters work is say we have Stargazer Magician over here and Time Gazer Magician, who is a scale 8. Time Gazer scale 1, by the way. And basically with those two monsters in your pendulum scales, which will be in the spell and trap code if Konami goes that route, or in the own zones, which will be the in the left and right side of the monster and spell and trap card zone. And basically with those scales, you'll be able to summon monsters all between the levels of one and eight, which means you'll be able to summon a level two, three, four, five, six, and seven. From your hand and from your extra deck. By the way, this is not restricted at all you can just spam them out fill out that monster zone go ahead go into a central play exceeds play whatever you like well in Master Wolf 4 that was nerfed by the way if Master Wolf 4 if you would pin them summon you could still spam out monsters from your hand but from the extra deck which these have to be pendulum monsters unless the card says otherwise which there are a few pendulum fusion exceeds etc that allows you to pendulum summon them out but that's besides the point basically if you have a pendulum monster in your extra deck you can only summon it one in master Wolf 4 format because of the link monster zones but if konami does do it in master Wolf 3 rules which like i said we have that's what dual links kind of play by right now we will basically have their own zones which I already mentioned be on the left and right side of the monster zones and the spell and trap card zone like I would kind of prefer that method but with the restrictions of Master Rule 4 that's kind of my idea how we want it but like Brad mentions in his video once again go check him out it's, it's a mobile game yes you can play Duel Links on your PC but it is mainly a cell phone game which will clutter the screen up, cause people to misplay, and there'll just be tons of complaints. But, yeah, I do personally would prefer if we did go Master Rule 3 format for Pendulum. But, like I said, Master Rule 3 board, but with the restrictions of Master Rule 4. Because the characters already do have voice lines for Link Summoning, and they already have voice lines for Pendulum Summoning all the way from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! to arc 5 well all the way to Yu original Yu-Gi-Oh and Zexon but anyway that's kind of my idea for how I want Konami to do pendulum summoning oh and also before I forget this if you didn't know while I was still explaining how pendulum summoning even works if a pendulum monster is destroyed it does not go to the graveyard it actually goes to your extra deck face up so that's what I meant by, yeah, you can pin them summon monsters from your extra deck. Don't try to go out and pin them summon your Red Dragon Arch Fiend and the monsters you need to go into Majestic Star Dragon because I said that in that video. That will not work. But, yeah, I would prefer if Konami would go Master Wolf 3. Master Wolf 4 would be alright for Duel Links because... Yeah, basically right now in how I think they will add pendulums, which will be the first characters you would get is Yuya, uh, Gronk, and Zuzu, which none of their decks actually destroy pendulum monsters. Like Brad mentioned in the video, there are pendulum decks that do destroy back row, but they kind of later on in the series, which I don't think we would get that in our first box to introduce R5. Now the decks I can think of that actually do this want the back row destroyed for Pendulum Monsters would be 
Metaphos, Pendulum Magician, and uh, there was one more I actually said uh, before, but it's John. Oh, True Draco. Yeah, those are the only three archetypes off the top of my head I can think of that actually want the Pendulum Monster Sword. And also, like Brad says in the video, um, there are other ways to destroy monsters in your, well, Pendulum Monsters in your Spell and Trap Card Zone. Or even in your opponent's spell and trap card zone, you can always cosmic them away. Mystical Space Typhoon, and which I recently learned is some dual links, Dust Tornado. You always have these options. You can use any type of back row removal, or long as it says to destroy spells. Because when a pendulum monster is in the spell and trap card zone or in their own zone, they are treated as spell monsters or spell cards. So you can keep them off the field that way if they really that much of a nuisance for you. But yeah, these just kind of my ideas on how I think Konami might implement pendulums into Duel Links. And I know I probably was rambling on this video, but I still hope you enjoy. If you enjoy what you watch here, go ahead, subscribe, comment, you know, the usual stuff that YouTubers tell you to do. But also, go check out Brad's video. He did a far much better job of explaining it than I did. But anyway, I'm out, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.